Hi friends, welcome to our channel, Math in Math. So today we will solve uh, a problem from uh, matrices. So this problem will be asked in um, many competitive exams like CSI or NET or even in KZ exams. So let us solve this problem. So what is given? The determinant of the matrix, this matrix, okay? This matrix is of order 6 cross 6 okay so there are six rows and six columns so this is a six cross six uh, matrix so how to find the determinant okay generally we used to take this and we will take the minor uh, uh, matrices and we will be solving but it is a very lengthy process so we will solve it in a very uh, different way okay so the solution is see the speed has to be developed for the uh, competitive exams so here i will be solving it little um, slowly for you to understand but uh, if you know the idea you can solve it quickly so whenever such matrices are given try to convert this matrix either to an upper triangular matrix or to a lower triangular matrix okay upper triangular matrix is the matrix which has entries in the so the entries which are there in the upper main diagonal this is the main diagonal if the entries are above the main diagonal then it is called as an upper triangular matrix okay similarly the lower triangular matrix will have the entries below the main diagonal okay so this is the lower triangular matrix matrix okay so we will either convert it to an upper triangular matrix or a lower triangular matrix because the main note is that the determinant of of upper triangular upper triangular or the lower triangular matrix is the product of the main diagonal entries okay so for any matrix which is an upper or the lower triangular matrix the determinant is always the product of the diagonal entries okay so so here it is neither the upper triangular or the lower triangle the entries are above the main diagonal and also below the main diagonal so we will either convert it to the upper triangular or the lower triangular by row, row uh, transformations and then we will find the product of the uh, main diagonal which will give us the solution okay so first of all let me um, make these entries to be zero the lower triangular to be zero so that i get the uh, upper triangular matrix okay so now let let me take r6 implies that is row 6 implies row 6 minus 2 times of r1 okay 2 minus 2 times of r1 so that this will become zero isn't it so what are the entries we get one so the first row remains the same zero one zero zero two zero the all, all the remaining all the rows remains the same only the sixth row sixth row changes zero two zero zero two zero one zero what about the sixth row 2 minus 2 times of 1 2 minus 2 that is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 0 0 0 what about this 1 minus 2 times of r1 that is 2 1 minus 2 into 2 1 minus 4 that is minus 3 okay so this we had got now again use the similar uh, transformation that is let us convert row 5 as 
row 5 minus 2 times of R2 we will take because here you have 1 so that it will be easy to convert. Okay, minus 2 times of R2. So what do we get now? The first row remains the same. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2. 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0. 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0. 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0. Now here R5. 0. That is 0 minus 2 times of R2. Okay. 0 minus 2 times of R2. That is 0. Second is, second entry will be 2 minus 2 times of R2. That will be 2 minus 2 times of 1. 2 minus 2. That is 0. Remaining entries will be 0, 0. Here you have an element 2. So 1 minus 2 into 2. That is 1 minus 4. Minus 3. 0 minus 0 is 0. The last row remains the same as the previous step. Similarly, the last transformation will be for row 4, which implies row 4 minus 2 times of row 3. Okay, because row 3 has 1. So, 2 minus 2 times of 1. 2 minus 2 will be 0. So, this entry also becomes a 0. So, that the lower uh, entries are all, lower triangular entries are all 0. Okay. So, R4 minus 2 R3 will give us 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0. What about the fourth row? Since here you have 0, it is 0. Because we are doing with R3. So if you have 0 here and 0 here, almost it will be 0. What about this now? 2 minus R4, that is 2, minus 2 times of R3, which is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. Here it is 1 minus 2 times of 2. 1 minus 4 minus 3. This is 0. This is 0. Remaining last two rows will remain the same as that of the previous step minus 3 okay so now if you check here all the lower entry lower triangular entries are all zero so of course we have got the upper triangular matrix okay don't worry about these elements, but we have an upper triangular matrix. So, once you have the upper triangular matrix, you can give the determinant as the product of the main diagonals. That is 1 into 1 into 1 into minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3. So, what is the solution? 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 into minus 3, minus 3 minus 3 into minus 3 that is plus 9 9 into minus 3 will give us minus 27 so the determinant is minus 27 so option c is the correct answer so once you know the row uh, transformations you can just convert the given matrix either to row reduced i mean the a lower triangular matrix or an upper triangular matrix and then find the product of the main diagonals which gives the solution okay thank you